Hey there, it's Than from Advanced Reef. We're always looking out for interesting foods to try out. Recently, we came across Reefroids, a coral specific food from Polyp Lab. The concept behind Reefroids is to provide a powdered plankton mixture. The mixture contains a variety of marine planktons and a certain type of zooplankton that the company claims is unique to Reefroids. Let's take a closer look at it. On first glance, it's a fine powder, about 150 to 200 microns in size, which is an appropriate size for smaller polyped corals. In this video, we're going to try to feed it to a variety of corals to gauge their feeding response. Polyp Lab recommends using a teaspoon of Reefroids per 100 gallons of tank water. That strikes me as a lot of food to be feeding, but we tend to use less food in general compared to most hobbyists. To kick things off, let's take a look at an easy coral to feed, such as this Blastomusa. Blastomusa I would classify as an aggressive eater that is not picky come dinner time. Like many large polyp stony corals, they pretty much consume any food offered. It appears that because the food is so fine in consistency, the blasto has to rely more on its mucus web to draw in the food to its mouth, so it took significantly longer to eat. Next, we decided to try feeding pipe organ coral. Now we haven't had pipe organ for a really long time, so we were genuinely interested to see how the coral would react to reefroids. It appears that in this time lapse, it grabs the food right up. In a way, it reminds me of the motion of pulsing Xenia. Polyp Lab claims that zoanthids eat reefroids. If you're familiar at all with our feeding videos, this is kind of a big deal. Zoanthids have proven to be one of the most finicky corals we've come across. Some of the varieties that may in fact be Paleothoa eat aggressively, but some other varieties don't seem to eat much of anything. For this video, we decided to grab a wide selection and see what their reaction is. On first glance, it appears that more zoanthids ate the food than not. I'm really pleasantly surprised by the performance of the powder to be honest. Lastly, the company claims that Reefroids is an ideal food for filter feeders. I'm not a huge fan of filter feeders because they typically are non-photosynthetic, but one came into my possession recently and figured why not try to feed it. So let's see if this Dendronephia will show any sort of feeding behavior.
so far it seems to get really active as the food passes by. So what do you guys think of reef roids? Is it good enough to try in your reef tank? We've only been using it for a short period of time here, but so far so good. If you would like to try it, I'll include a link to the product on our online store. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and make sure to keep those corals very well fed.